gente, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this time I will be talking about my nose surgery. Like four weeks ago, I got my nose fixed. My nose job. Rhinoplasty, but why I got this? Well, simple. I just wanted to get this because it makes me ha it made me happy and I'm very, very I'm very pleased with the result. Thank you to the doctor Marcelo Hersey. He's located in Miami and he did an incredible job and his team also. So in this YouTube video you will be able to see my experience before the surgery, during the surgery, literally during the surgery, John went inside there and record everything. Well no, no everything because he didn't want to see the blood and like especially me that he sees me always like taka 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 ta and then I was like this in a table. little like I didn't like my nose that much but like you know when you learn to accept yourself I was like I mean it's not that bad like I can still live with it right so then after I came here to the US I keep working my way up in like this beauty industry kind of learning like a little more how to take care of myself especially being in the industry that you always want to look good right before I decided to get a nose job I went here in Dallas and go got nose Filler. Some people say, but your nose was perfect. I mean, my nose wasn't bad, but I had a, a, a bump that it really bothered me. And sometimes whenever I used to wear glasses, it was like, the glasses were like this because my bone was straight. So whenever I decided to do filler, it was kind of like an idea to see how my nose or my bridge would look if I decide to get a surgery. And I really love it. I really like it. Getting nose filler, often like every year it gets expensive you know like it it adds up uh, every time you go and pay for a filler whenever i find the perfect doctor i will tell him hey i love the way my nose look in here i just really want to fix my bridge so uh, marcelo hersey in miami he really really listened to what i say because so i feel that my nose didn't change 180 but like it really make it look more feminine you know for example in this picture right here you can tell that i had that bump right there that it was bothering me so like i used to always smile in this side because this profile was better than this one this side it had a bump and like now i don't have any bump look at that i'm so happy i'm very 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 happy you know i really love to take care of myself and look good and it makes me feel good you know so that's why i decided to get a nose job i really wanted to feel good with myself not to please nobody i didn't have any health issues though like i just did it because i really wanted it <laughs> so yeah that's what happened i know a lot of people is against plastic surgery i like i respect that you know everybody have their own opinion but if you feel uncomfortable with something in your body and you are able to fix it through plastic surgery or whatever it is go for it right like it will make you feel more confident and you will feel good at the end of the day if you overdo it of course it's not good for you it's not, it doesn't look right but if you do it for the right reasons and you don't go over it it will be good you know that's my opinion with plastic surgery like I love it. What we're going to show you is my whole experience the day of the surgery. John was with me, thank John to be with me. He recorded me while we got there on the way to the institute or whatever how you call that. There are some people that ask me, where did you got your surgery? So it was in Miami, Florida, United States of America. Uh, yeah, um, with Marcelo Hersey. He's actually from Venezuela. That also made me feel so confident because Venezuelan doctors are very good, you know. South America is kind of big surgery. So knowing that he was from Caracas, I was like, oh, okay. That's something very good. And then I was looking at his at his work. I really love it because it was natural, like transformations, you know. I was looking for something natural. I told him like he really like did very good job oh my god guys it's story time we miss our fly like always <laughs> when before we flew this was a whole thing because you know the surgery is supposed to be in miami but i have to get all my blood work tests and everything and, and a clearance in here in dallas so i did my pcr test and all these things here in dallas like on thursday and they're supposed to get that on um, monday because the surgery was on wednesday 
but they didn't get anything. That day, we were in line, you know, waiting for her to like go to the, to give her bags and stuff. And then they called like, hey, we haven't got anything from your doctor. And then we were taking our puppy prince and he couldn't got on the place. And like that kind of like hold us back and we missed our flight, but actually, it was kind of good because it gave us time to go to the doctor and a hospital and trying to figure all this out. And then we left in the flight at eight, but it was a tornado warning, so the flight got canceled. <laughs> and then <laughs> I was like, is this for me? Should I do it or not do it? Like, why? what am I doing? Like, it's, it was so many things happening the same day that we were like, I don't think we're going to make it. But thank God, the fly actually, they put it like, okay, we are going to fly at 9 p.m. So we tried to, to get our puppy prince as a service dog, even though he wasn't a service dog. We tried, but we were there waiting in line for, you know, like go and leave our bags. Prince, he, <laughs> he's a very, very, alert dog so he's always looking around he's looking like everywhere so we were there waiting and jason is like no he's a service dog like look we have this and this and we fill up this thing and he's his id and all these things and then prince start barking <laughs> prince start rah, 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 rah. and then the guy he was on the phone trying to help us and he hang up he's like oh no mm -mm, that's not a service dog <laughs> so <laughs> we missed our fly because of Prince. Anyways, we ended up paying for his fly and he went with us because Prince for me, he's like my baby. And I know, I, I like, I knew I would be recording the whole week. So I needed him, I needed him with me. Kind of like worked out that we missed our fly because we were able to go back to the hospital and like fix all the documents that they didn't get on time. Finally land in Miami at one am. The next day, John, Jason, and me went to the pre-op. Hey, we ended. So we are here in Miami, um, my second home. I love this place. You guys already know. I've been saying this. I'm really excited. I'm excited and nervous. I'm, I feel more like safe and secure because my doctor, he will be Marcelo Hersey. He's one of of the best one I heard, and I'm really excited about that. We went to the first consultation in October last year, so I've been planning this for a while, just that I keep it very private, you know? <laughs> There's a bug. <laughs> it's a fall here. We are visiting my doctor, Marcella Hersey, who's going to be doing my nails. As you can tell, I'm very nervous, but like excited and nervous. We are going to go to the second pre-op, so we can kind of check what he's going to do, um, fill up paperwork and all that. And I'm taking you guys with me. You guys, mi gente, San House family, you gotta come with me everywhere. Face into a program already. Yeah. How are you? How's the pre-op? Oh, it was good. She can explain everything. So right now we're going to take some pictures of my nose. Oh, John, you're going inside the surgery tomorrow. What? Yeah, they say you can actually be inside the whole time. Me? Inside the surgery room? <laughs> I don't think I should eat either. I might throw up. <laughs> no, but I mean, they say that you can be like in the beginning when they birth me. They said it's going to be about three hour surgery. Oh, so uh, you probably don't want to be there the whole time. No, Every, I don't. I do not want yeah. to see Virginia, Virginia's face getting cut up. So no. We're going to be all like bound up. I could never look at her the same again. <laughs> <laughs> Crime. No, it's not too straight. What's up, dog? How are you? How are you? How are you? are ready? Sorry, I'm nervous, excited. Okay. Too many feelings at the same time, but yeah. Do you have any questions for me? Last time that I came, I came with feelers. Mm -hmm. I removed them. Yeah. So I don't know if like you can like see me. I can't feel any filler in that. If you have a little bit of filler, it's okay. Uh, I don't like I removed. Huh? She got the removed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What I'm saying is that if there's a little bit left, oh. it's okay. It's not going to affect you. If you had a bunch of filler, then that would be a problem. But I don't feel a whole lot. 
We're gonna make this narrow and bring this down and make this a little bit, a little bit tighter. And bring it up just a little bit, just like the picture. Okay. okay. I don't want it too, too up though. No, it's gonna be gentle. Just a gentle break. Do we have a rendering? Yeah, and yeah, I don't want it. Like, Check that out. Pointy. I don't want it too pointy. I don't want it like. No, just a little bit. Very cute. Just a little bit of an upturn. Who's gonna take care of you? You have your whole crew. Who's gonna take care of you? <laughs> the nurse. Yeah. Are you gonna put him in a nurse's outfit? Huh? <laughs> Should. Alright. <laughs> That's That's plenty of fluids. Tell me. Okay. Soup, juice, water, all that good stuff. Uh huh. Rest, go to bed early tonight. Okay. And then it's showtime tomorrow. Awesome. Okay? Thank you. I'm excited. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> so bossy. Alright, glad you're here at home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's nice. it. Yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> tomorrow, you guys will come with me. Oh, man. <laughs> What? Oh yeah, the Percocets. Percocet. Percocet. Sand. This is so strong. I don't want to take that. Yeah, if you only need it, only if you need it. Probably the first night though, just because the pain fresh. Tomorrow yeah. Night, right after the surgery. They are going to fix this bone. I don't know. I don't know if you guys. After this vlog, I'm gonna get so tired looking at your nose. Basically, the pre-op was very easy. Um, the doctor kind of look at me again because oh, the, something. If you're thinking to get your nose done, guys or girls, or take arnica. They told me to take arnica for like a week before, and I didn't listen. And you will see the pictures. I look terrible because I didn't took arnica. The next day, the day of the surgery. That day, I was a little nervous because, you know, it's your face. You don't want to change too much. So I don't want to lie to you. I was very scared. I was like, what about if like all these things that happened before in the airport we missed a fly, we couldn't go with friends. You know, when a lot of things happen and like you still like trying, like, oh no, I want to do it, like, you know? So I was very nervous. I was like scared, like, should I do it? Should I don't do it? Like, I still have time to say no. <laughs> okay, okay, buenos días, mi gente. ¿Cómo está todo el mundo? Espero que estén excelentes. How are you doing amazing today? Like I always say, my story is while I'm doing a decent YouTube today. We're almost at the clinic. Um, my surgery will be at 10.30. So I wake up today at like 6 a.m. Even though it's a 9.45 that I need to be here, I wake up. You know, I'm excited and you know. Oh yeah, I already filmed us on TikTok. Are you going to pop up the TikToks that I did? <laughs> I did this TikTok and I did this TikTok. <laughs> but what I'm going to say, yeah, I'm very happy and I'm very excited, of course. More excited than nervous, so that's a good thing, you know. I'm very, I'm very sure what I'm doing. I feel confident about the doctor. I'm very happy. His, his results at Austin and the good thing is that he actually have this technology that he shows you how you're going to look afterward that he says that he's not like he's 80 to 90 percent accurate you haven't ate anything since last night right yeah they saw they told me okay one of the thing is after midnight do not drink water eat or anything of that so yeah, I couldn't eat anything and I'm starving right now. We stopped at a Starbucks because the guys want some food and I'm like... Not for her. Oh, I want to eat something. But yeah guys, see you at the clinic. Let's get your nose straight. Yay! I'm so excited. Huh? Oh. I'm going, I'm going. Perfect. I will call you as soon okay. as she's um, in, in post-op. Let's do it. Bye. I'm going with you. Oh, you're coming right here to the first room on the left. Yeah. Nice, Virginia. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, this is Daniela. She's the one that helped me Hi. to organize all this surgery, and I'm super excited about it. Yay! There you go. So, look, I have this ugly socks. I hate it. No. I like this. <laughs> you, you look like one of those Dr. Seuss characters. <laughs> Now you guys are going to say, you don't need it, but like, I see it, and I, I, I just don't want to keep putting filler. It's, it's just too much maintenance. I just try to do it, and that's it. You know, before operation, you just gotta do TikTok. It's customary. <laughs> I gotta do TikToks, guys. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Big day is here. Yeah, finally. Yep. I get my dear. So we're gonna make make the bridge a lot narrower. I'm gonna take out this little bump you have here. Okay. Your tip, we're gonna make it a little bit more narrow. 
We're gonna elevate it just a little bit. Your nose looks really good from the inside. He said he said your nose looked good from the inside. Means that you got no boogers. <laughs> <laughs> I clean it, I clean it whenever I start. <laughs> that was smart, smart. <laughs> Guys, this is not to like make it like this, okay? Just letting you know we're ahead of time. This is to fix this. Alright, Virginia. Alright, so we have to give up the phone. Oh, let me just, let me just say. <laughs> so come on with me. Be careful, we have all kinds of stuff over here on the side. Alright. Oh, good. Okay. good. This oh, is, that's this, nice. This is good. We have a heated bed for you. Come on in. So you're going to sit here. like a lot of lies and then the table and then my arms were like these and I I just start feeling like very relaxed and then I pass out so you guys are tracing it first yes job and I remember they repeat to me so many times please whenever you wake up breathe through your mouth whenever I wake up the first thing that I did was like oh like it's, it's so it happened I was like oh my god it's crazy I want like smoothie yeah look mommy you did great Virginia Thank you. Mm -hmm. the girl was telling me okay this is the medicines that you need to take um, we are going to prescribe you Percocet if you need it. You will need it. I'm like, I I was like, I was right out of the store. It's like I want the Percocet. I need it. Like, oh my god. And I remember that night. It was like the worst night. I just bought that painkiller. Jesus, <laughs> you just bought the painkiller. <laughs> You're on painkillers. You're already on it. She's literally crying. <laughs> Meet us on the fifth floor. Where is he? So Jason got the painkillers and then they took me to the car in the wheelchair and then they stopped and got me some smoothie because I, I didn't eat since the day before at 12. There's Jason with the meds and we are putting her back here. Capsule by mouth twice daily for seven days. Thanks for work. Yeah. You know, Virginia? Yeah, but you gotta step up right. Yeah, do it more. 
Jesus, 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 Jesus,
go down. Let's go. Pick up the office thing. I'm so happy. Oh wow. Oh yay! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah? Yeah. Super straight. Straight. Right now, it looks like a big sausage, okay? Okay. And it's normal, okay? People swell up, especially the first three to four weeks after. Between one, week one and week four is the worst swelling. So after four weeks, it'll start taking shape. Okay. Right now, it's like a sponge full of water. So all, once that, all that water goes away, it'll shrink up. Go. Gente, I'm super swollen, but let me tell you something. I'm so happy. Listen, I feel that we're going to release this video and uh, whenever you see me with the final result, you will be like, oh, okay, that's good. Because right now, I'm, he told me I look like I have a sachet on my face. A what? A sachet. Yeah, I love oh, that it. that looks good. And then I had a bun right here that it was bothering me. That was what is bothering me the most. And they so good. I love it. The front, it looks the same to me. It's just swollen right now. It's, it's just thinner also, but it's swollen. Yeah. This is straight. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, I'm sure it will go down. The first night was bad. Then I was chill the whole time with Prince and Jason. I was sleeping, sitting down for a couple, like three weeks, four weeks, something like that. Uh, now I can sleep on my side. I, I, like I don't sleep on my back so I'm good and I sleep like this always or like on my side so but those those weeks I had to sleep sitting down um after two weeks like after two weeks I start taking pictures and like in April 18 I have my one month appointment so the doctor checked on me I told him I can breathe even better than before I was like oh my god I, I can smell everything better. He injects some is asteroid on the tip of my nose because I was building fibrosis and he told me that this will help with the inflammation to go down and um, and he told me like in four weeks it will start looking a little more slim. So this, this was one week ago when he did this and it's looking right now like this. Okay, mi gente, so this is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this experience with me. I try to be very transparent and very open with my decisions and with my life. Like I said before, I hope you enjoyed this experience with me. I was so happy, extremely excited to show you this. I also want to say thank you to the doctor, Marcelo Heresy, and also to his team, which made me feel very confident, very comfortable. And they really take care of me that day and in the whole process. Thank you, my baby Jason, to take care of me. And John, Jonathan, and Richard to help me to recreate this video for you guys. Would you do something like this? A surgery to kind of boost your confidence? You tell me. Put a comment below and tell me what other kind of topics or content would you like to see. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this with your friend and the button right there or right where somewhere. Hit that button and I will leave my social medias right here. Bye mi gente, I love you and see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.